Hi there guys, welcome back, my name's Brian and today we're going to be talking about how I like to paint white armour. I've painted quite a bit over the last year between my sisters and this apothecary, but a few weeks ago I uploaded uh, this picture here and a few people said white armour looks really nice, so I thought I would do a video and share with you all how I like to do that. That is my cat meowing, I do apologise. No surprises here, I've got the miniature all primed up with, with a good layer of white paint and the next thing we're going to do is take some apothecary white contrast paint. You can see here I've not used it for a few days and how much is separated, there's about three different layers there so you need to give it a really really good shake. Either put a mixing ball in there and give it a really good shake up, I've got one of these shaker things because I'm lazy um, and you can see there when it goes on how much it really really needed uh, to be mixed up there to get a nice solid colour at the end. To make it a wee bit more pleasant to work with I mix in some of this quick shade wish, uh, wish wash mixing medium. Um, it's a bit like Lamia medium but just a wee bit more of a gel consistency and when you mix that in with the contrast paint it just makes it a bit nicer to work with. It's actually just a really nice medium to have. I use it quite a lot. So I tend to mix this in with the apothecary white, about two parts of the apothecary white to one part of the mixing medium. Because we've added the medium to the the contrast paint just makes it a bit nicer to work with like I said and just treat it like you would any other wash here. I'm just giving it a fairly liberal coat, pushing it into all the spaces that I want it to be, trying to get it into the recesses and underneath things like the knees and whatnot. It just helps give it a very subtle shadow. got to see on camera but I think that looks pretty nice you've got some sort of lighter gray areas in the recesses and whatnot so I'm just going to take some any bright white paint and just go for a nice soft brush I'm using a makeup brush here and just a nice gentle dry brush over the whole miniature just to catch these edges just to start lifting some of the areas that might have been dulled down a bit by the apothecary white Next, I'm going to use some white airbrush paint. This is really, really helpful to have when you're painting white armour because look how thin it is. It's pre-mixed, it's already nice and thin, and it means if there's spots that you want to lighten up to be a, a brighter white still, just go over the edges there. And it's really subtle. You need to go over it a few times, but it's so easy to work with because there's so many times when you've taken some white paint and you thin it and whatnot and it goes to that sort of chalky, lumpy way. This takes all the stress and all the hassle out of that away. It's so easy to work with so definitely worth looking into some, some of this if you're struggling with white armour. Inevitably along the way you're going to do things like this, Gets I've just got some purple on the shin here, so magic eraser for this is Corax white because it's an off white and it's got brilliant coverage, tiny wee drop, thin down Corax white there, look at that, all gone, easy peasy. The rest of the video I'm going to be painting up the sister um, as I normally would, so if you've just come here for the, the white armour I hope you enjoyed this video, otherwise I'm going over any cloth areas with a layer of shyish purple which is another contrast paint that I really don't like but it's actually very good at um, getting this cloth material nice and dark before I go over it with a layer of uh, purple. Trying to get purple paint over white is a nightmare and this is just a nice quick way of getting a, a solid base coat down. Come at it with some Nagaroth Night now and you can see going over there, one layer, nice and thin but it has good coverage over this shy purple base that I've put down. Thank you. 
I'm going to start highlighting the purple next and for this I'm using Army Painter Orc Blood. It's a nice, rich, vibrant purple that works really well with Nagaroth Knight actually. Army Painter paints are actually really good for things like this just because they've got that sort of translucency. It, they're just highlighting things with these is so, so easy. So, sorry that was my cat again. Um, if you're looking for a nice paint to, to highlight a, a darker purple with, I really, really recommend checking this paint out. Retributor armor, as always, for a rich yellowy gold color. It's got brilliant coverage. It goes on really thin. Um, I tend not to like the yellowy gold as much, but it works very well with the, the white and the purple here. Can move on to the face now, and I'm putting down a, a layer of Army Painter Corpse Pale for this. It's a bit like Wraithbone, it's just a little bit warmer. You can get a similar colour by mixing in a bit of Kizlai Flesh to your Wraithbone. Um, and then up next, I'm going to get some Gilliman's Flesh and just go over the whole face with this. And you're probably looking at this and thinking, oh my god, Brian, what have you done here? Don't worry, it's going to get better. I promise you, we're going to start building up some layers and it's going to get better here on in. Gonna take some wraith bone next, just go over areas like the cheeks, uh, the, the chin, and the areas down around the side of the mouth. Thin layers, just put lots of nice thin layers on top of each other, and you'll start building that more into a more natural looking um, skin tone, but you'll be leaving some of that darker colour underneath in the recesses. Next I've got some Army Painter Red Tone, I've just got a very small amount in my brush and I'm just going over the, the middle third of the face, just the, the, the cheeks to give them some rosiness and just the nose as well. It's still lighter than the, than the rest of the face but just giving it that little touch of red tone just makes it look a little bit more natural. Going to take a bit of the red tone as well and just go over the lips and the mouth with it. It just gives it a slight pinkiness that, um, compared to the rest of the face. I'm going to go over the eyes with some Thondia brown. It's a nice dark brown. I don't like using black here because it's it just makes the eyes look a wee bit cartoony. So Thondia brown and then a wee bit of Corax white. The eyes on the sisters models tend to be so small and that the eyeballs in particular are minute. So just gently just go over here with some thin down Corax white and you'll eventually catch the, the top of the eyeball. Gonna do some last minute um, tidying up with the, the Corax white and the, the airbrush white paint as well, just to get things looking all nice and even. Any mistakes you've made, you can cover them all up. And then, as usual, at the end, I'll go over the whole thing with some matte varnishes as well. Different brands of paint, some are shiny, some are more matte, it just helps even up the whole thing. I'm 
that's all finished up. I think that the white armor looks pretty good there. Um, this has basically just been how I paint through my sisters as well, so I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have any questions, I'll leave a, a link to my Twitter in the in the description below. Hope you found the video useful. Anything you, you'd like to chat about, send me a message. Otherwise, I'll see you next time.